Hey guys, so in this video, let me see, let me focus this, there we go. So in this video, you can see that I am going to teach you guys how to mod, literally mod a case. Um, I have this graphics card here, it's an AMD, but as you can see, it's a, it's a little bit of a tight fit here. It's not going to fit. I've been trying to get it to fit there, and so what I'm going to end up doing, again, if you have a little bit of a do-it-yourself experience, home improvements and stuff like that, this is something that's feasible. So basically, I don't want to buy a new case. So what I'm going to do is use this um, metal cutting saw. These are pretty cheap. You can find them at your local Home Depot Lowe's home improvement store for like 15 bucks, you know, something like that, whatever. But the goal is to actually cut this. So this is a very cheap PC case, a little bit of a metal foil, like... um. Not technically metal foil, but it's cheap. But the idea is for me to cut here and cut a little bit down here so that I can get my graphics card to actually fit in. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that. Again, do this at your own risk. If you Again, you know, if you're careful with a screwdriver, a saw, if you cut stuff before, it shouldn't be that hard. But um, I, I'm just filming this right here with one hand. So I'm going to just turn this off and I'll show you how it looks. Uh, but that's how I'm going to mod this case. Uh, again, you don't have to spend that much money. You, you know, if you think outside of the box, you know, you can definitely save yourself some money. And, um, you know, be careful because this is sharp and you don't want to cut yourself. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so just a quick update. So I have took my computer outside in a safer environment than doing it inside my house. But um, you can see I used the saw and I've cut two slits here. You can see it here. So my next goal is to take a... Uh, pliers and like bend this metal downwards or try to move it out of the way so you'll see the next part but uh, so far so good uh, looking forward to see how this mod case mod works out okay just another quick update I've taken the pliers bent the the metal as you can see and I'm almost to the point where I'll be able to take this off entirely so it's definitely gonna give me more space and I should be able to fit my graphics card in I'm gonna continue working and uh, let's see how it goes Okay guys, another quick update. Uh, so I had a, still had issues putting it in. Uh, this wasn't enough here on the right, but here on the left I decided to take off, again, lo roll back the clip a little bit more and you'll see what I'm talking about. But there used to be a metal thing here, I took it off. And now I should have enough space for inserting the bigger graphics card in here. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and insert it. And... Avrakazam or whatever, you know, hey, it works, guys. So I, I'll be able to put the screws here to uh, secure it to the frame of the PC. But uh, you can see now what, what, what wasn't able to fit, now we can fit with just a, you know, a little bit of it. I am sweating a little bit, right? This is metal that you have to cut. So again, don't do this if you don't feel comfortable doing do-it-yourself stuff. If you, you know, if maybe you've never seen somebody do a video on YouTube or somewhere that tells you how to do some home improvement type of thing, you know, how to cut stuff. Uh, so definitely you want to be careful, right? Because I did cut myself just a little bit here, as you can see. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. I should probably put uh, gloves. But again, you do this at your own risk. But I just finished teaching you guys how to take a case that wasn't originally able to accept a bigger uh, graphics card and how to mod your case do it yourself, all right? PC, do it yourself. Um, again, just be careful when you do this. Um, I will be testing this. I'm gonna go back. I really like this little guy here, the RX 460. Uh, old graphics card with only two gigabytes of VRAM, but hey, it can play modern games, eSports e titles perfectly fine, giving you definitely 120 average FPS easily. Uh, so anyway, but now this is a more powerful graphics card. I'm gonna install, I'm gonna test it out in a bit. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you learned a thing or two. Um, consider subscribing. I do videos like these from time to time when I come across uh, computer uh, problems that I need to figure out. And I want to share the details with you guys. Again, thanks again for the support. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and um, let me know if this was helpful for you. Again, if you decide to do a case mod like this, be very careful. Uh, you do it at your own risk. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.